Hi, I'm Chris with Polar USA. Welcome to another installment in our series of Polar Unique Features. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Polar Sport Zone feature. This feature provides an easy way to set and monitor intensity during training. It also is a great way to follow training plans found on polarpersonaltrainer.com. The Polar Sport Zones are primarily used by runners and cyclists, but can be used for any cardio exercise. The Sport Zones training is divided into five zones and it's based on your individual maximum heart rate. This feature is available on select Polar products. Today we're going to show you how Polar Sport Zones work while running. Dave is going to start his training today on the treadmill with his Polar RS300X wrist unit. Before he started training, Dave performed a Polar fitness test with the Own Index feature. Own Index provides him with his VO2 max and heart rate max values. This test will produce accurate sport zones that are set to his individual fitness level. You can find out how to perform the Polar Fitness Test by viewing our Polar Own Index video at youtube.com slash polarusa. As Dave gets started with this training session, he warms up by running in Sport Zone 1. His intensity level is very low. This is also the zone during the recovery stage of the heavy interval work. Zone 1 is 50 to 60% of his maximum heart rate. If Dave wants to do an endurance run, his goal should be to stay in Sport Zone 2, which is 60 to 70% of his heart rate max. This level is relatively light, but increases metabolism and aerobic capacity. Additionally, it strengthens the body so that it can tolerate higher intensity training. If Dave decides he wants to push himself to the next level, he could train in Sport Zone 3. Running in this zone is especially effective for increasing speed endurance, which is his ability to run faster for longer. Zone 3 is between 70 and 80% of his heart rate max. Today Dave wants to do an interval workout to prep for an upcoming race, so he's going to train in both Sport Zone 4 and 5. First he increases his speed on the treadmill. He is now working out at 80 to 90% of his heart rate max. This helps Dave improve high speed and anaerobic tolerance. After a 4 minute interval, Dave drops down to zone 1 to recover. Once his heart rate has dropped down to 50% of his max, he decides to run a set at sport zone 5 by increasing the speed and increasing the incline. This zone is 90 to 100% of his heart rate max, which tones the neuromuscular system and increases his explosive sprint race speed. After 1 to 2 minutes in this zone, Dave drops down to zone 1 again to recover. And that's how polar sport zones work in a running training session. Thanks for taking a moment to learn about Polar's unique feature, Polar Sport Zones. This feature can help take your heart rate based training to a new level of effectiveness. To learn more about Polar products and how you can make training with heart rate part of your healthier, more active lifestyle, visit PolarUSA.com.